Hey babes, and welcome back to the Beluga Baby channel. Thanks for checking in with me. It's been three and a half months since I last posted a video, which was on my due date. I went into labor the next morning, and after three days of labor, I had my beautiful baby girl, who we named Sawyer. Today I wanted to do a quick video for you new parents or uh, expecting parents. Uh, because it's a bit of a jungle out there in terms of what people think they need for their newborn, what kind of items to purchase, what to put on your registry, and I wanted to demystify it a little bit for you. Um, so today I'm going to tell you five things that I absolutely could not live without during the first three months of my baby's life, and four things that I definitely could have lived without. Um, so, without further ado, here we go. First item is a stretchy wrap. I recommend, of course, Beluga Baby. Um, these ones are made out of bamboo. Um, and they've got a bit of cotton and a bit of spandex as well, just to give it some shape and also to give it some stretch. I find these ones are great um, because they're breathable, they're stretchy enough that your baby is comfortable, that you can lift your arms up, um, and also supportive enough. This worked from when she was a newborn all the way till now, and she's almost 20 pounds. And I think it's gonna keep working for at least another six months until she's 25 or 30 pounds. I can't officially recommend it over 25 pounds, but I think it's gonna work for me, so take from that what you will. Item number two is a swing chair. So I didn't think I needed one of these, and in fact, I didn't buy it for myself. I got it at one of my showers from my friend Nancy. Hey Nancy! But it has been in use every single day of my baby's life. Uh, she naps in it, she sits in it and looks at her little mobile, she sits in it and looks at herself in the mirror, which is adorable, she talks to herself. I didn't think I would use it as much as I would, um, but I use it every day for at least an hour or an hour and a half, usually for one of her naps. She usually takes one of her naps in her stretchy wrap, one in her crib, one in the swing. I want to get her used to napping wherever she is. So, But I highly recommend getting one of those. Number three, reusable breast pads. So without going into too much detail, I use these almost every day for the first month and a half until my supply sort of regulated itself. But I highly recommend these ones. I use the ones from West Coast Baby. They're made of bamboo, similar material to what I make my wraps out of. And I think that you'll love them. They don't show under t-shirts. They are really comfy and they do the job exactly how you want them to do it. Number four, onesies and baby rompers. Make it rain. So I bought so many little baby dresses and received so many cute little baby clothes and I just don't use them. First of all, because they're just a pain to put your baby in. They ride up, they do all sorts of stuff, and second of all, because I don't feel like my baby is super comfortable in them. I'd rather my baby be comfortable and be a baby, you know? So I use lots of onesies. I use, uh, you know, these, this one's from The Gap, <laughs> but I also love this one. So this is one she sleeps in a lot now. This is from Joa Love. It's really cute because, as you can see at the back, it's got this little stretchy bit, and that just pulls over their, and under their bum. So if you're doing diaper changes in the middle of the night, there's like no snaps and no zippers, and you just pull it forward, put your diaper on, put it back, and that's pretty much all you're able to do at 3 o'clock in the morning with a newborn anyway, so highly recommend these. Number five. This product I love. So this is called a Pudge Tub. I bathed my baby girl in this up until she was about two and a half months old, but if you have a normal sized baby, I think this will work till like four months or maybe even six months if you have a smaller baby. So it just sits in the sink like this and water goes in here, uh, lukewarm water, and a little bit of bubbles if you want, and it sits right in the sink like this, and you plop baby in, her head goes here, little, little bum goes here, and little feet go up here, and they just love it, because it's nice and soft and squishy. So, really, really good, highly recommend that one. What I didn't need, disposable breast pads. I use the reusable ones, I found them way better, an upset. Number two, Ergo Baby Carrier. So I use the stretchy wrap almost every day, and I just find it's more comfortable than the Ergo Baby Carrier, especially at this newborn phase. I think when I'm gonna get into back carries, that I might use the Ergo Baby a little bit more. Then again, I might just go straight to a woven wrap. Um, I think it might be good for hiking. I think my husband actually is gonna like using it because it's a little bit more industrial and um, 
I don't know, he might like it more than I do, but I really love carrying my baby in my stretchy wrap, and I'm going to do that for as long as I can. Number three of things that I didn't need, so many newborn clothes. So my baby grew out of her newborn clothes, you know, the up to seven pounds, up to nine pounds, pretty much in a week. Um, I really only needed two or three outfits of that. I wish I didn't buy so many newborn clothes. I wish I didn't have so many cute little things that she never got to wear. Um, so just skip that phase or get a few things in that size um, and, you know, start at the zero to three months if you're going to ask for things for your shower. I think uh, that's all you need. And number four, so uh, I actually have one of these and I do use it every day, but my friend just uses her bed and it seems to work just as good. So um, what I feel like I didn't need was a changing table. I do have one and I do use it, but my friend who has a newborn as well, she just uses her bed and I feel like that would be just as easy. So save yourself the 40 or 50 bucks, change your baby on your bed, bazinga. Anyways, that's all. Um, for this video, um, my next video hopefully is going to be a wrapping tutorial, how to use our stretchy wraps. They are available. I don't have everything quite perfect enough to put them on the site and we still have to do a photo shoot, but if you do want one ahead of them being available to the general public, just email me at Haley, H-A-L-E-Y, at belugababy.ca and I can work something out for you for sure. Um, if, you, if you have a little one now or if you're expecting in the very near future, I don't want you to miss out um, on them because, like I said, they have been invaluable to me. Um, other than that, follow me on Instagram at belugababy.ca. Subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. I love you guys. Big kisses. Oh, and one final thing. I just saw this line here next to me. We have matching headbands for all of our baby wraps. So grab your baby wrap, grab a matching headband, super cute together save the world, be a super mom, all that fun stuff. See you later.